Abbey, founded 1147. But there's, um, yeah, there it is in there. There's, the surprising thing about this one is that it's uh, signposted, quite well signposted to get here. <laughs> Very, no, nothing really in the way of parking. Yeah, so kind of, uh, yeah, that's a, when you get here. Now this is still a working church, but um, but it's also been, uh, uh, well, English Heritage has have taken uh, charge of it as well to some extent. For, for a porch entrance to this abbey that uh, backs onto a farm, uh, so the farmer can directly access uh, uh, the services, church service. There's facilities on the left which was kind of handy uh, if you, uh, but you have to know about them of course. Now, uh, I don't know how much of the existing abbey building is original but these look like original, these ruined uh, columns and uh, arches. I'll go down these steps and see where they lead to. Yeah, some more uh, ruined doorways and arches. So uh, this looks like an, an enclosure, part of the original abbey. And uh, you can see extended looking at those uh, roof markings up there, where the roof they're extended out here. Okay, I'll continue going walking around the, the building. Someone else is uh, walking around as well. Maybe he's keeping an eye on me, I'm not sure. See. Continue on. Door Abbey upkeep in the region of £100 a day to maintain. But look at this. What a discovery in the middle of nowhere. Westminster Abbey, right in the middle of nowhere. The road screen. Of course, it's still a working church. This is, well, this is, uh, I'm surprised. Uh, yeah. Well, I think maybe coach parties possibly do arrive here. Uh, I've seen uh, in the past uh, Golden Valley tours, and this is probably one of the. This is well worth. Of course, it would completely here, you know, having the place more or less to myself. I'll get the actual uh, atmosphere. Yeah, this is well, a real discovery. I mean, huh, it's not really advertised as a first class. Uh, the first class abbey is really still right. It wasn't actually it one of the abbeys that looks like it escaped destruction from Henry VIII. Yeah. Gravestone floor slab, 1696. And not there, rather faded, but a coat of arms painted. Have a coat of arms. Some kind of a stage. Well. Yeah. Oh. Concerts, maybe. On the floor here are various uh, kind of like gargoyle structures which they probably brought inside uh, or maybe dug up uh, during in excavations uh, and uh, stored inside. Yeah, inscribed stones. Decorated stones. Uh, uh, this is, uh, I mean, uh, uh, if you 
in our churches, this is a jewel in them, but, but nobody knows. <laughs> nobody really knows it's here, as far as I can see. Capitals and gardens, chapels, stained glass. Yeah. <laughs> of course, it's all... Uh, like a Westminster Abbey, free of charge, but none of the vast uh, crowds eh, of tourists, uh, which basically, uh, you have to say, destroys the atmosphere of the place. Monastic life at Bore Abbey in the 13th and 14th century. That's what it probably looked like uh, in its heyday. information on it. Sisters in order founded in 1098 and uh, yeah. there's a poor box that dates from 1639 huh. yeah so okay then. Uh, looks like the uh, no public access. Well, that's uh, yeah, that's what I would do if it was available. I'd climb to the top of the tower, but uh, no public access. Uh, yeah, it's reserved for as an area of quiet prayer. Yeah, save Door Abbey. Huh. Yeah. So here's some leaflets on it. Right. 